Hey guys, it's Kevin. If you own an Epson printer, sometimes you get a scanner error. It may be easy as your lamp is burned out, or maybe something in your ADF feeder, and there's some mechanical problems. Uh, today, I, I'm going to show you how to take the scanner off, so at least you can start troubleshooting it. Or maybe you just say, well, whatever, I'm just going to buy a new unit. And uh, you can go to bchtechnologies.com, see if we have it. And uh, you go to printer parts, scanner parts. So you can just buy the whole unit of it, all the wire, everything, and uh, install it. We're going to turn to the back of the printer. Uh, with a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to remove those two screws. Give a little jiggle, then you can remove this plate. Uh, you're going to unplug all those wires. It looks like a jungle, but uh, let me explain to you. It's pretty simple. Before you start messing it, uh, take your cell phone and uh, take a picture of this. And uh, if you scrub, you know how, how to fix it. Uh, there's only one wire with a yellow base. So it's a red and a black wire with yellow. Then you have a red and black with white. Uh, easy to tell them apart. Then we have uh, four wires. Uh, this wire doesn't go to the scanner, so just you know, ignore it. Three wires, black, white, and gray. Uh, notice the notch on the top. So when you put it in, you insert it to the slot, just like this, and that will fit. There's only one way to put it in, so you won't make any mistake. Uh, so there's no way we can confuse with uh, which wire goes to where. So we're just going to start pulling them out. That's this big thing. Uh, the FFC cables, you don't need any special tool. It just pull out like this, and then we'll insert it. And uh, just remember the blue is towards your right, and then insert it back. Uh, you can just use your hand to insert it. You don't need the tools. Then there are two ground wires together and they're secured by a screw. So we just unscrew it and you can take the wire out. And now we're ready for the next step. I usually uh, start from the right side. And you can see here there's a tab. Let me give you a closer look. So if you use a finger, just move it to the right. And uh, you can see the scanner is coming out. Okay. I'll put my hands here and the pull. And uh, when I lift it, I usually just close the, I close the lid. When I, I put my hands here and close the lid, that create a, create a lift in the front. Then this side is lifted. Okay. To lift the left side, we need to unscrew this screw on the top first. The scanner is rest on this thing uh, that goes to the printer. Then the scanner should be slide uh, with angle upwards like this. And uh, so let me show you. I put you, my hands here, tab, close. Now lift the, the whole scanner off unit is off. Uh, to put it back, the same thing. Here's the slot that you slide this one in. So you roughly put it in the in the position and just try to slide it down. You don't have, you don't have to pr be precise. Then once you close it, then you open, uh, pay attention if uh, the scanner is even, is even. If it's not even, just lift it up and push it down, lift it up, and push it down, and it's going to fall into the place. Once you can see it can open and close easily, and uh, everything's good, then you can put the screw back. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers!